Hi, I'm Katja. This is my digital CV. In case you want to learn more about me, how I got here, what made me the professional I am today. And um, hopefully this can help you find out if I'm the right person to help you on your journey on the path to your core. Just hang in there and I'll tell you a little story. So what are my beliefs? I believe happiness comes from within, comes from your core. I believe that our emotions affect our immune system in a positive and in a negative way. I also believe and have had lots of experience with creating my own reality through the thoughts that I have. If we feel with our heart first and then think, the outcomes are much better. Last but not least, I also believe that we are vibrational beings. We come from vibration and we can create our reality through that vibration. So what experiences have I had that make me the professional and the person I am today? So when you see the tools and techniques that I offer, you need to know that I have experienced them myself at any given point in my life. And I was so convinced about their outcome or effectiveness that I decided to study them myself, get certified so that I can help others also. One key experience in my life is my work at uh, multinational companies in HR department. Uh, I've been controller before, but I realized I have to work with people. In 1998, that's where my journey started. And I realized through all the different assignments in seven different countries, different kind of management levels, that we're all looking for the same thing. And we all have very similar limiting beliefs that keep us from expanding and from growing. Another very memorable uh, thing in my life is actually growing up with a father who is a doctor. God bless him, he's still alive and still inspires me until today. But from the sidelines, I could observe and he would even take me into hospitals. I was at some point um, his surgical assistant when I was 17, is experiencing healing that First, the question is not what are the aches, how can we kill them, but where do they come from? And why do some people heal from the same disease and others don't? And uh, that has always triggered my curiosity and uh, was a key element to my research and finding my path to offer you what I offer today. I have a beautiful mom who does tons of research. She tries lots of stuff in regards to health vitamins, hormones, everything that affect our body. And she shares all her findings with my father, pushes his boundaries, and of course shares it with me and opened my eyes to many different things. I also remember a time when my father took me to public hospitals in Sao Paulo and he said, look, look around, just go. Let's have a look in the, in the rooms, see what you'll find. And I would see kids without legs, I would see terminal cancer patients, um, people disfigured, people, uh, you know, terminal diseases. And I remember getting out of that hospital with my father and he had a little car, uh, you know, the one where you put the roof back. I, I, I can't figure the name now. And we would just go on the highway and we would just scream, scream out of joy and out of thankfulness and gratitude for our life, for us having a functioning body, for us being so full of energy and not being trapped in that hospital and just grateful. And that's where I learned about gratefulness. At the time where I was allowed to do surgical instrumentation, so mastectomy, it was ovarian cysts. And um, what was quite impressive was the impact of the moon in, uh, in women actually starting to get into labor. And we would sometimes make a joke out of it and say, okay, there is a pregnant lady that is his patient around the full moon, 
Katja, please uh, don't book any parties. Uh, make sure you are available because it might be that nature is then calling. And many times it was true. And I would see the maternity wards filled with babies at full moon. And I remember thinking about how great is that? How interesting is that? That stellar bodies are having such a force on earth and on us and on our nature and how we are part of all the system and it opened my eyes to really look at things holistically and um, yeah inspire me to keep searching for what else influences us that we can't see or measure it's important to mention also that i am brazilian and uh, in Brazil, we are open to many different things and approaches. We're very curious and we also have the influence of so many different cultures that conquered our country. So when it comes to, well, if you think about Feng Shui that I offer, I did have quite a very funny experience when I was about 15, 16, when a Feng Shui lady came into my, my house and my mom guided her through the house and she would say things, do this, change that, take that away, improve that, because this can have this and this effect on you or your family. And I always thought, okay, that's quite weird. And when she came into my room, she was actually fibbling on the curtains and the right side was closing well and the left side was like a little bit stuck. And she told me, oh, here, something is hindering uh, the male presence in your life probably talking about boyfriends because this is the male side so go ahead fix that screw up there and things will be smooth and also by the way there's like a mask from Venice hanging up there what are you trying to hide who are you trying to be that is not you I was so mad at her I was like a real teenager I'm like what the heck are you talking about the next day I woke up I told my mom okay let's fix that screw let's put that mask away Two days later, I got a phone call from a boy from school asking me to go to the movies. And I was not the popular girl in school and I was mostly the one who did not have the first kiss yet and all that. So experiences like that kind of made me curious again. And when I moved to Hong Kong, oh my gosh, when was 2008, I immediately looked for a local master and said, I want to perfect that. I want to learn this art of acupuncture for the environment. What is it? How can space really influence us or not? And also in several moments of my life, I had happy moments and I had very challenging moments, very sad moments when you lose loved ones or when you experience um, maybe a defeat in any kind of way. And um, I have also experienced the very bottom of my hole and I was able to get out of there and I can replicate now how to do this and how to stay out of the hole. That's what I like to share with people. And when I uh, first founded my company, this was in 2010, I still struggled how do I bring all these different dimensions under one roof because I knew our mind plays a big role, our body plays a big role and also our space, the environment around us plays a big role on how we feel and how we actually get to achieve stuff. I actually got a professional company, a branding company uh, to do my logo and kind of put into words what I wanted to use and the tools I wanted to use in these different dimensions for my clients. We got to the name Elite, which is style spelled backwards, um, because I do believe that we are unique in, the, in individual, although we all crave for the same things and have very similar limiting beliefs. And everyone learns and develops at their own pace. So I wanted it to be at your kind of style uh, my coachings adapt to your style. So if I'm doing interior design, for example, I will not propose something that is my taste, but something that is your taste and uh, represents who you are. 
and also from the coaching perspective, the language. There are some people that really need a kick in the ass and there are other people that need a little bit more um, different kind of talk and incentive or, or inspiration. And having the feeling of how to do this, this is something which I believe is one of my strengths. And the colors also, they are very opposing. And um, one of my core philosophy uh, also comes from yin and yang. From darkness, we learn about the light. And um, from our pains, we also uh, learn about happiness. I wouldn't know what happiness is if I didn't know what real pain feels like. Um, so in 2010, I founded my company. When I was in Hong Kong, I then um, went to Shanghai and I continued practicing, built up a new um, audience there, perfected all my, my tools. And well, today I'm in Germany. I'm offering it not just in Germany because many things I can do uh, via Skype, WhatsApp, um, virtually, let's say like that. And um, if you're interested, if you feel inspired about what you see on the website or you want to know a little bit more, just click on the contact button and I'll be happy to have a chat with you and see if this is something for you. And before I forget to mention it, I can offer it in many different languages. Ich kann es auf Deutsch anbieten. Eu posso falar em português. Eu posso... I can speak in English, right? Eu parlo italiano um pouco e abro espanhol. Other things that shaped who I am today and what I like doing is uh, I've received a Female Innovation Award in China for a product I developed. I just had this crazy idea and thought, let me try to make it from a thought into a physical thing and market it. And, and I learned so many things along the way. So uh, that was quite a journey. Uh, also founding my company, as I just mentioned, um, working for a big chemical and also pharmaceutical company and uh, experiencing corporate world, corporate politics, dynamics, um, also, a, let's say, transferring knowledge for a bigger scale of audience um, and doing this in so many different countries that I have been expatriated to. Um, added a lot of value into my experience, which I always bring indirectly into the encounters with my clients. I also love giving speeches in front of thousands of people. Uh, this inspires me, it fills me up of, with, with energy and I have done so, you can see in my CV, uh, my details on my LinkedIn profile, where I've been and what I've done in all the detail. Um, but without having to know them, I know what drives me, I know what I have fun, and uh, I also know I love the one-on-one -on -one interactions because that's when I can help people really achieve some kind of change and transformation. And what of course cannot miss in my life are great teachers, not just maybe family members, uh, great friends along the way, but also inspiring uh, people that might be already be very successful in what they do, like for example in the doing part, uh, in achieving your goals, Tony Robbins, I'm a big uh, fan of him and he has been a great teacher for me. I receive coaching myself. Um, on a more spiritual level, Abraham Hicks uh, inspires me a lot and taught me a lot. Um, also Wayne Dyer, uh, Eckhart Tolle in the Living in the Now, um, and um, Sadhguru. So you see, there are different influences, different people, and uh, I always seek for inspiration, and when I'm ready, I know the teachers, they appear for me. Okay, great. I talked a lot, now it's time for you to decide if you want me on your journey. You can contact me, there's a button contact on my website, you can give me a call, link uh, with me through LinkedIn or even book a session right away. Uh, I have also webinars that are for free, some for little money, whatever suits you, just let me know if I can serve you.